Have you ever wondered how you can protect your Excel workbook using OTP or also known as one-time password which is adopted by companies like Google and Amazon to enhance their security posture? The main idea behind OTP is that the workbook password will change every time when you open your workbook. Well, this is how you do it. You're going to right click on any of this sheet here and then from the context menu, you're going to select view code and a VBA editor will open up. You're going to double click on this workbook like this and then you're gonna paste this VBA script here if you need a copy of this VBA script please make a request on the comment section of this video the way this script works is that every time when you open a workbook a new password is assigned to this target workbook and at the same time the same password is also stored in another Excel spreadsheet called OTP XLS file here and this is where you can customize it here if you want to improve the security you can actually locate this otp.xls file on a separate network drive somewhere so that it is away from prying eyes so a quick overview of how this works is that like i said when you open this workbook this particular subroutine is invoked and when they invoke this subroutine this line here actually generates four random digits ranging from 1000 to 9999 and store on this variable called code and this code is written to this OTP XLS file on cell A1 here and at the same time the same code is also assigned to this very workbook when you initially open up the VBA let's go ahead and test this OTP here you're gonna press ctrl s to save this VBA and the workbook and close this VBA editor next you're gonna close this target workbook here and you're gonna save it here. A quick overview, this is the OTP XLS file. Right now, if you open it up, there's essentially nothing on that workbook here. You can see it's completely blank. So when, when I open the target workbook here, this cell A1 will be filled up with a new password and at the same time, the same password will be assigned to your workbook. Now, when I launch the target workbook, on the first launch you are not required to enter the password let me show you you can see that the target workbook opens without the need to enter the passcode but now if you open this OTP XLS file you can see that four digit random number is also visible for you and this four digit number is also assigned as a passcode to this particular workbook here now if I were to close this guy here and open my target workbook for the second time as you can see, I'm required to enter the passcode here, and this will be my passcode. So if I were to press 1158, and just before I click on OK, you want to keep an eye on this 1158. When I click on OK, you will see a new passcode will be visible, and that new passcode will be required on your third opening of your target workbook. You can see that there's a sudden change of number there. Now, if you were to open this guy up here, you can see a brand new code has been assigned to cell A1, and at the same time, that code is also assigned to this target. So the next time when you open this guy here, this particular 9616 is your new passcode. Let me demonstrate. I'm gonna close this guy and reopen the target workbook one more time and enter this passcode 9616. So moving forward, any future opening of this target workbook, you need to open up this workbook and have a look at what the password is.